Josh, as you go forward, just remember everything in moderation, even moderation. Okay? Okay. Where's Aaron? Aaron, you're still back there? So, got to clear something up with you. Which party was it had the uh, motto, vote early, vote often? Oh, okay, nobody gets it, of mine. <laughs> well, um, Matt, okay, yeah. love the Evolver website. The, um, one of the things about, what the Dickens was it? Oh, building community. Laura and I have been uh, exposed to a lot of the building of community lately through our bike swap effort. Uh, being involved with Good Life Community Bike and the kind of the crisis they had and helping out there a bit, that's, that's been interesting. I'm uh, encouraged to see this community developing too. And how many people in here have had ideas day one day, but the next day that same idea is just a little bit different? Anybody been in that position where, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what Alberta Bike Swap was all about. It came out of passion. It came from the brains of our operation, my wife Laura, and it started off as Calgary Bike Swap. The first one was held last April 1st and 2nd, and that was the weekend of a big snowstorm. That kind of hit us and was kind of an, slowed us down, slowed down the event, the number of bikes that came into the event. I'll tell you a little bit more about the event. And then we ran a second one at the end of May, and at that point we incorporated as a nonprofit company as Alberta Bike Swap because we've taken it to Edmonton as well. Our objective is to get people on good used bikes. Some shops bring in new bikes, so some people get new bikes. You know, some bikes that come in are used but good as new. What does it look like? This was second sale midway through the morning, the intake of the bikes. By the way, was anybody there last year? Anybody attend any of the bikes? What? Oh, of course you did. <laughs> you were there way too long. Too many hours. <laughs> no, that's, Marty's my son, and then uh, another part of the strong backbone I have. <laughs> was it okay. So that was, oh, there's a pointer on this rig too, isn't there? Well, there it is. Along the back there is where all the bikes have come in and techs are checking them out to make sure they're safe to win the sale. And a number of these bikes here, somebody says, oh, there's a kid's bike. Well, yeah, we don't typically take kids' bikes. It's adult-oriented. We want to get adults active, get them good transportation, get them exercising. And uh, so you might see some of those bikes in a later shot. So that was the intake phase, bringing the bikes in, checking them, getting them in the rack, and then this is, was the sale phase. Over the two events, we had about 2,500 people come through the doors. We put 300 bikes back into service. Now, the other thing, okay, remember how many people use online systems to find used stuff and buy used stuff. Yeah, we, we all do it. We all do it. How many times have you gone to buy something and it's not exactly as pictured? Yeah, yeah. How many times have you tried to sell something online and you've had somebody come to your, your house, your apartment? They're not looking at what you're selling. They're scoping the rest of the place, the rest of your stuff. Well, I've had that. I've had. So, we we wanted to create a safe venue for buyers and sellers of bicycles. And we've heard a lot of talk about passion and doing what's important to you and this this is what's important to us. We have some work to do to figure out the future of Alberta Bike Swap to keep it sustainable, to keep it going once Laura and I have had enough fun with it. It, needs, it will need to go on, and, uh, and there, that, that, there are more bikes under those moving blankets, but that's uh, a load of bikes on its way to Good Life Bike after the, after the event. So there it is. Okay, details. You're all wired these days, if not here, then at home, but you look at Alberta Bike Swap, you'll get the details on our Calgary, Calgary date. 
But I'll tell you, May 5th, Shoal Dice Arena. Bikes in from 8 until 11.30, and then at noon, the door is open. And I gotta say, don't plan on coming at 2 or 3 o'clock and picking up a hot deal. It, uh, nothing lasts for long. So that's May 5th, Shoal Dice Arena, and Edmonton the following weekend, May 12th. And questions? Uh, how does the pricing work? How does the pricing work? Well, we encourage people to come with two things. One, do your homework, know what your bike is worth. But the second part is, well, we, part of that is, well, we can coach you on what your price should be. But plan coming to sell your bike. If you gotta have top dollar for it, you don't, don't expect to get that type of crowd at these, uh, at these events. So we tend to coach towards a selling price rather than top dollar. Way back there. Uh, what can charge for selling? Ah, yes. Okay, the, the brains of the operation is going to watch me here, make sure I get this right. If it's up to two, from uh, 50 to 250 dollars, it's 15 dollars to get in the sale. If it's uh, above 250 dollars, it's 10 dollars to get in the sale and then there is a percentage of the selling price if it sells. No, I should say when it sells. 10 or 15%. 10 or 15%. And uh, then... We wanted it out of pocket just to get more people on bikes. Yeah, yeah we... Now, the EMS Society and Ride the Country Council will participate. Um, if you are riding an auto boats, we will pledge 20% of the sales price. Okay. And if you're riding a bike, we'll pledge 20% of the sales price. Okay. Yeah, and we'll pledge 20% of the sales price. Yeah, we'll pledge 20% of the sales price. So, okay, just in case that didn't get to the back of the room. Uh, <laughs> Participants in the MS Society's bike tours or the Ride to Conquer Cancer, bringing a bike in to sell with us, will pledge $20 to, to their fundraising efforts. And um, any other questions? Okay. Thanks and all the best. <laughs>